Okay. Oh! Oh, that doesn't sound good. And, and that's useful. Great. The horse is really scared that easily. Oh. <laughs> probably, you know, <laughs> probably should have gone offline for that. Let's play a little game. What are you doing here, Simon? You're supposed to be in a time loop with your girlfriend. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. Uh, you As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. Well, how much further? He is kind of doesn't because he's dead. Foresters. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. My lord. Shh. Listen. No, no, no. You stay back there. There. Oh no. Back. Back off. Hear that? No. I know I Shit. Hit Stay still. Fuck. Don't notice me. Never mind. Oh, thank God. We've wasted enough time already. That was that was quite intense. I wonder what would have happened if I ran. Because uh, if you run from Ramsey, you don't want him to catch you. No, you don't want you don't want to look at that. You really don't. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Is it that? That was short. Never mind. Oh. Lord Ethan. I'm Ethan again. As I was saying, you are young. Yes. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. My straw Tengren looks like someone, and I can't Herbitor, decide who it is. Who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. Well, that's nice. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. I don't see that would help, just These naming your father's people to lead my and relatives. And now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Okay. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. I'm not picking you, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Oh, but well, that was unnecessary. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Miss. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. What? Why do you look like Bolin this from The Legend of Korra? 
except Bonin's not a dick. <laughs> Just bitch slap him. Yeah, why not? Guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Oh. Is what Sir Roiland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. Shut up. Family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> I'd be more concerned. I'd be con more concerned about water than wine. Lord Ethan, I know My these words said that's are funny hard, coming from me, but, but whatever. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm your tits, woman. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <laughs> You'll address him as Lord. Do you knock him on? Is he unconscious? Oh no, no, he's still sitting up. Okay. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord really? Lord always took a thief's fingers. Ooh. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. He's got a good point. Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Also a good point. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his finger. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice. Really? Lord. You stole. Please. Um my lord. My family depends on me. Uh, justice once. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Oh, don't fucking boo. Lord you wouldn't Ethan, want to be killed if it was you, would you? Noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. But better not it's do it again. In our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. Don't I do it again. I forget my debt to you and to this house. All right then. Don't do it again. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Yep. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. Well, you I didn't really reward him, did I? I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the I'll, face of I'll disloyalty. I'll be more, you know. You need someone you can trust by your side. It's not going to be you. Someone you can rely on. Not going to be no you. No matter the circumstance. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. And if that's just typical. Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Okay. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Shouldn't it be Tonight like is your first a badge or something? It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then. Okay. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Despite the fact you're your not. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay. I still don't trust you, but okay. Seriously, he seems like... Very shifty. It could just be me. And the fact that, um... That guy, I forgot what he's called, was like, ooh, I don't trust him. Okay, right. Yeah, go on. <sighs> oh, God. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? No. <laughs> I haven't spoken to anybody yet. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. 
The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? That seems... It is our greatest asset, my lord. Oddly suspicious. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. Are you sure that's going to be that easy? You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Exactly. Well, Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Do they really? Really? That's... Not... No. <laughs> Duncan, that was... Like it, Maz. It's Duncan. Game of Thrones. It's probably yes, gonna die. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Lay it in a bit thicker, will you? As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Basically Would saying, choose me. More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. So basically he's like, pick me. You know you want to. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's Wait, who the fuck are you? To do, oh. <laughs> showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. Okay. Nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. Esos. I will hold I'm sure it's course. Esos. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. <laughs> But my mother's fear yeah, is not, not exactly like that big of an idea. But people are problem. scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. Really? Why? And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. He Ethan, makes a good I need to point. Talk to you. I will give him that. Like that is that is quite true. I'm guessing she's now gonna say the opposite. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew and we how did that go? Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw Why? what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Yep. Well, Not as if you were going to send him to the wall it's anyway. my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? You suck. Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Also, oh, you've good always point. given me good advice. Thank you. Mm. They. Every, like they are both very valid options. I don't actually know which one to choose. Like, obviously you need 
good advice and someone who's not going to make anything worse, but at the same time, a good soldier would be useful. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. That is a terrible this, name. So I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... Oh, you know, don't you? I'm honoured. Good. <laughs> yeah. Someday it reminds me of Rickon, but even more and shit. Not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Everyone's making it sound as if I killed him. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone no, keeps not talking really. about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad no. things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid That's of wood. That's a very childish way of thinking. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. No way in hell. Like I said, you'll rick on, but even more shit. Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs Island. could hold swords! A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. We're well, just going to tell you to pick him. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. That's a good point. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Yeah, I'll be less kind to the rest of them, because, you know. You've got to show you're nice, but at the same time you do need to be like, you've done a bad thing, you shouldn't do that. Uh, I suppose I'll have to pick. I don't know who I'm going to pick, though, they're both good options. And I imagine whichever one I don't pick is going to be My a Lord, dick about are it. are you now ready to name your sentinel? No. <laughs> yes, maester, I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Oh god, this is going to go terribly. Whoever I pick, I better not bloody betray me. I will not be impressed. Hi. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. No, I haven't. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You're both good options. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with I'm it. well aware. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. No, I haven't. Uh, Duncan. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle, this, this is reckless. Lord Don't Ethan be a bitch. Has made his choice. Don't I will be not a bitch. disappoint you, my lord. You better not. Now. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say it's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. 
Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. <laughs> I wouldn't call him a bastard, if I were you. So with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this you, would happen. You can stop digging he it in. Cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your sentinel. He should Don't be a dick. This. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Calm the fuck down. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Which something tells Mira's me they judgment. won't be. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. She has a good point. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to no just give away the only currency hell. we have to bargain with. Enough! Like, I wouldn't mind giving them some ironwood, but not for the protection. No, because that's not gonna My go new well. sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer exactly. our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. It's the best cause of action. If fight, it doesn't work, then we can kill him. One breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Bitch. Forgive us, Minor. Him, not her. We are, of course, here to serve you as we served your father. Aye. Well then. Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? And then he'll be an even more angry douchebag than he usually is. Uh... Take him into the Great Hall, because you don't want to insult him more. Yeah. Yeah. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely Fuck to you. get us all killed. Sit down at once. Do as he says. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lordy. Eh. I will stay I don't know, I, I probably will, but like, belongs. just a little then bit. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I'll be generous, but not like, be a pushover. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. I haven't. Do not forget who you are talking to. There will always be, be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected so you and psycho. your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord True. if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? 
Of course not. Don't be a little bitch. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. I'm sure they grew back. Your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No. No, you need somebody else to. You need someone who is standing beside you. Exactly. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Yeah. Why Fine. not? Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Good. That is personally... She is the only one with any sense, apparently. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I don't see that going down well, but it's worth the attempt. Oh, we're all fucked. 